look at the current conditions from Edinburgh to South Padre Island, we're dealing with extremely windy conditions all across the board. You're seeing that American flag off into the distance in there from our DHR health camera. And then we're seeing also some rough seas out on South Padre Island as those winds right now sustained at 34 miles an hour. As we look at those peak wind gusts, we've sustained winds up to close to 48 miles an hour, now exceeding the 50 mile an hour mark in Harland and in McAllen. So we are definitely dealing with extremely breezy conditions. That's going to last for the rest of this afternoon. Radar and satellite, we have a high pressure system situated off towards our east, and then we have this approaching weather system in the form of a cold front, and this is going to bring some possible severe weather to portions of central and southeast Texas. So if you have any loved one in those areas stretching from San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Main threats with these storms are going to be damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes. And this is uh, for folks off into the, uh, the, the eastern portion of the state there. We're outside of that, so we're not going to be dealing with that as of this afternoon. But for the next 24 hours, we're going to continue seeing those line of storms uh, start forming there as we head closer towards 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock there. And that's going to stretch from Corpus Christi all the way to the Houston area as those line of severe storms are going to be moving off towards the east there. So very strong storms expected for portions of Texas. The good news is that that's well remaining well to the north of us. Future clouds and radar showing clearing. We are going to see a dry line uh, approach from the west there. So we are going to see a possible flare up of some storms for an extreme northern areas as we head closer towards 6 p.m. And so any isolated storm that does form will have the potential to be fairly strong there. So not any type of widespread weather, but we could see some of these uh, isolated storms for our northern areas, especially for northern uh, Star County there as we head into the next a few hours. Also, we're going to be dealing with extremely dry conditions. Those breezy conditions are going to pose a fire weather threat for us here as we head into the next uh, several hours. Future wind gusts still sustained at around 40, 48 miles an hour. We will be weakening as we head into the overnight hours, uh, but we are expecting this cold front to officially arrive early tomorrow morning, and that's going to bring those gusts out of the north between 20 and 25 miles an hour. So tomorrow, not as breezy as today, but we are going to see some slightly cooler temperatures. It's going to be a weak cold front, not a strong one. One, and we're going to see those overnight lows dropping into the 50s, those high temperatures feeling much like spring as we head into the next uh, several days there, especially from Wednesday through Friday there. Future dew point, we are fairly humid right now as we are seeing those winds out of the southeast there, but we are going to see a lot of dry air in place as we head into tomorrow morning, and this is going to pose that fire weather a risk there, especially for our areas out towards the west there. So definitely dealing with those conditions uh, a little bit on the uh, breezy side, but for the next five hours, expecting those high temperatures to top out in the low 80s for much of the area, but areas off towards the uh, western areas, especially from McAllen to Rio Grande City, you're going to surpass the 90 degree mark. So we're expecting a high of about 96 in the upper valley, lower valley 86 degrees. We're going to be under that fire weather warning until 8 p.m. this afternoon with those gusts continuing to be extremely strong at around 50 miles an hour there. As far as your seven day forecast, we are expecting just a slight chance for some isolated showers and storms there. That's going to be lasting through early Tuesday morning and then we're going to be gradually clearing to mostly sunny skies for Tuesday afternoon and then cooler weather on the way with highs only topping out in the 70s, lows in the 50s. So you might need a sweater heading out the door early Wednesday morning, but extremely quiet for the end of the week.